my new Facebook status. <laughs> Remind me of that. That's okay. classroom setting now, which is the, the focus of all my work, it's, it was a challenge for me as a producer coming in to an academic setting of a classroom because the only ego that matters on the set in the production world is, is the producer or the director. I mean, that's it. Total dictatorship. Best directors, incredibly collaborative, great feedback, you know, it's a very collaborative but in the end, okay, we're done talking, we're gonna make it move, you know, or it's gonna go right, that's it. Uh, not so much in the classroom, you know, because you really have to get all the collective egos, and I've had some egos, as anyone else who teaches. And you can get some students who think they're really a lot better than they are. And you have to manage that, that you know, that, that whole level of expectation of excellence, right? So I guess it just comes with maybe experience, maybe some people never get good at it. Um, terribly good at it. I am at it. I think I'm pretty good at it. Um, yeah, you have to make people be heard, right, and that their input is valid. And then somehow, I think what helps me as a, as a teacher is putting stuff in context, putting things in context. So, in other words, showing a lot of the, showing the computer animation festival reels from past year, showing the best artwork from conferences like this by, by artists, and saying, no, look at the stuff that's out there in the world. Look how incredibly amazing this is. This is what you have to, you know, aspire to. And so that helps. That can bring the egos down. Especially if people, I, I'm, it's really amazing to me. I mean, when I was growing up, when I was doing my, my MFA, you had to go to the library and look through our history books, you know, to look up Hydra Sophia or whatever, you know. Now you can fly there easily, and you've got the internet. And, um, it really blows me away how so many students are not aware of the worldview and how many incredibly excellent things there are out there. So once their vision is kind of open and, and they're more aware of that, that that's, that's probably the best teaching tool I find for the, for the ego of the student. And then there's like a practical question about collaboration. Mm -hmm. Let's say your students, okay, they're, you know, they're applying for a job and they have this portfolio and they're saying, I work on this project. Right. What do they say they did because it's collaboration? Right. I mean, I'm sure there's explicit role that they you know, like engaged in, but where's the line drawn, you know, when you're collaborating? Like, what do you do with that? Right, another great question. Um, now, not all of our students aspire to get jobs. Um, some go to graduate school, some of them start their own companies, but those that do go out with their reels to say, here, I'm an artist, look at my work. Um, it's very important to us as, as instructors, as academics, and we do that. In, kind of demo reel creating classes, excuse me, is to um, number one, be ethical, to actually label what you did, what you didn't do. And that can be pretty straightforward. And it's actually very much appreciated on the companies that do the hiring. Um, we have very good friends at Pixar, for instance, who now, they love collaborative projects at universities because you can get to see what people do acting on a team as, as part of a collaborative process. Um, and you can see a finished film that's beautiful. And then, if they, but they'll see the same reel, they'll have the same short film handed by six different students. But what's beautiful is that if, if I'm one of those students and I can go in with that same reel to Pixar and say, I was the simulation guy, I did all the effects, I did the rain, that's what I did. And if they happen to be looking you know, for, for that kind of expertise, then that's really easy to focus in on. Or I was the character animator, I did, I did the character animator. Straightforward. I mean, when, when you put together a demo reel, if you're an artist, for that sense, you just you label it, and we actually have um, uh, encouraging ways of, of doing companion sheets to say, you know, shot three of the so-and-so thing, I did uh, conceptual art. Um, and I love to, to have the students include that at the end of their digital reels as well as traditional photography, light drawing, all that kind of stuff. Too. There's even 
even if you're contributing on a very large project, I love to see just your, your most basic artistic foundation and fundamental skills, sculpture. down to the student now, where I am in my life career. It's all about an individual student. And just the whole revolution, excellence, and agility, it really, really comes down. It's a beautiful way. It really gets them to think. I have to be different. I have to be revolutionary. And that excellence has just got to be reset, and reset, and reset, and reset. And think, everything's changing so fast. You just you have to be agile. You can't be locked into. I mean, I'm developing curriculum now for this entire department. I'm the director of designing master's and PhD degree programs. By the time they roll out, or incoming freshmen come in, you know, they graduate so four years from now, they, they, all of this stuff is going to be different. Who knows what's going to be going on four years from now? So I have to design everything from the curriculum to the individual syllabus to be agile. I'm working with students all the time about how to, oh, I have this prerequisite and I have to, this is new elective that's brand new and I really want to take it. So very flexible on a personal advising level. And so I find it very challenging in a positive way. Okay. Sure. Sure. No, I, I'm just, I was just thinking my, my students when they go, oh God, I've had to write this essay, I've been up all night. And, and I'm thinking, if you're actually in industry, you work because you have to, don't you? I mean, yeah. if you've got deadlines to a film, you know, you just yeah. carry on, don't you? And it's a, it's a different mindset, isn't it? So I, I don't know, I've never worked in industry, I'm an academic, but I just can imagine it's really, um, I don't know, when you have a deadline, just having to work all night. It's very, true. It's, it's very true, and it's actually, in, in a sense, not so different. Because I'm, I'm lucky, I've loved coming from industry and working in academia now to have that, you know, both sides of the perspective. But uh, yeah, in a sense, we, we say once they've made the Happy Meal deal, that movie is shipping. Yeah, exactly. Literally. November the 4th, it's oh, got to be done. Absolutely. And, it, and everything's been slipping. All, all, you know, post effects, editing, all that has been slipping, slipping, slipping. And all of the, the work that, that people like me do in production, the art, artists and animators, the, the time has been hyper compressed um, in all these fields. So, and, but it's still got to get done, which is it's good in a sense that you become very efficient at doing your work. Um, I mean, I mentioned that The Empire Strikes Back, the special edition. I, I literally worked 24 hours a day for two weeks between Christmas and New Year's, literally that shot sequence, and it was just me and the producer, and the whole company went home. But it was because George asked 
asked me a directed question. You know, can you do this? Oh, I want to add this shot. Uh, can you do that? You know, looking at me, and you know, you don't say no to George Lucas, right? I mean, my original effects supervisor, my producer, was having a heart attack. But uh, but it, but it's not so different in the sense that I, I teach only seniors now, which is kind of a shame. I wish I taught freshmen in a lot of cases to have maybe an earlier influence. Because what I get is as seniors, they've got the ego. You know. um, but with our capstone, it's it's very production oriented. There's, so there's, I mean, the semester ends, right? So there's your deadline. Um, and I've got to give them, whether I like to, whether I like it or not, I have to give them a grade. So that, that's a pretty hard deadline. Um, if they're motivated, in that sense of wanting to get a decent grade, or finishing the project or both, that's 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 kind of the line in the sand. And they they do work 24 hours a day, staying in the labs and. I come from a fine art background as well, my BFA, my MFA. You know, you, you live and you sleep in your studio, right? You just, so maybe not so much. So maybe have a question. Uh, I was just curious what alternative um, careers some of the students might take if they're not looking to work for a Pixar or go into something commercial. And do you know of any, any of your students who've done something really different in other venues? Sure, absolutely. Um, well, I, we're lucky in the Boston area that a good number of my students do go on to postgraduate work. So, uh, MIT Media Lab, places like that. Um, and then the academy and teaching. Um, a good number form their own company, which isn't kind of like getting a job, um, but, but it is different. Uh, as far as types of jobs, the great thing about creative industries is that it's my, my point in illustrating about the juggling thing is that it literally touches everything. Everything in the world now incorporates the artist and the technology uh, in, a, in this creative industries way. So we have people who, who work at the Boston Globe, uh, journalists, you know, uh, if you've never seen the, the New York Times information visualizations they do, they're just, they're really brilliant in a lot of ways. They'll illustrate, you know, demographic breakdowns and population things in, in an interactive visualization way. Um, that's fantastic for journalists, marketing people. Um, what are some of the more creative ways? I had a, um, a student who wanted to combine using all this stuff with oceanography. So he wanted to do visualizations of undersea plate tectonics and actually be able to 